Some morning, the sun rising over Montpasque's barrio, or yours, or yours, may show it much the same as always, calm and beautiful in the soft, early light. But look! And listen. We are now in the barrio of Comrade Pasco, one of thousands of prosperous barrios in greater Philippines. But I would like to tell you about Comrade Pasha's barrio because I am the commander in this province. See that Nipa hut? That is Comrade Pasha's home. Yes, this is the house my Filipino brother built. Beautiful, strong, and respectable. Now it belongs to the state. Oh yes, so Comrade Pasha is not in the house anymore. You see, he's a very hard-working man. Together with others in his barrio, he works in a faraway collective farm. They are fortunate, for many of our brothers are taken into the army and sent into even more distant lands. The collective farm is a superior system we have devised for the prosperity of greater Philippines. It has worked very well in other countries we have liberated. It will work here. Oh, about the guards. We always put guards in our model farms to protect the men from enemies. Our dear brothers must not be interrupted in their work for the government. See? They work well, don't they? We regret that we must guard carefully against pilferage. But we find it necessary to our brother's education in our doctrines. Another thing, before we came, it seems cockfighting was popular among the Filipinos. Comrade Tasio himself has confessed to us that he once pursued a stupid middle-class sport. Uh, communism does not tolerate such frivolous pastimes. They interfere with the work. A stolen mango. The mango is not important, but the Filipino worker must learn that everything, large or small, belongs to the state. Another necessary measure relates to children. They are no longer to stay with the parents. This is for the betterment of future Filipino citizens. All children are taken to a communist center where they are taught our new way of life. Later, their parents will be proud of them when they become the pillars of a regenerated Philippine society. This is where the daughter of Comrade Tasio used to sleep, the one they call Celia. She's no longer in the house now either. But she's very well situated. Her job as a waitress gives her a chance to get friendly with our soldiers. Occasionally, in their periods of uh, relaxation, they become playful. But it's all in a spirit of harmless fun. Also, we communists cannot understand why, in spite of our efforts to destroy such superstitions, the Filipinos stubbornly persist in returning to their faith. Do they not realize that religion is only a mirage without truth or substance? have removed the church bells for their metal, which is valuable to their state, and to destroy any remembrance of their god. But such measures have not been fully successful. Reports reach us that the stupid practices of their religion are still being secretly maintained. We must continue to suppress this mummery without mercy. 
There is no God. All the communist regulations dictated by our Soviet leaders will improve the Filipino way of life. Don't you agree, Comrade Tasio? No. I, Mang Tasio, do not agree. There are still two ways of life open to us. It is for us Filipinos to choose. Yes, here in our beautiful, beloved homeland of the Philippines, these are the two ways of life open to us. It is for us to choose. But I, Mang Tasho, have made my choice. I choose the right to work under a free democracy for the great happiness of my wife and children. Whatever its faults, that is the better way, the Filipino way of life. For only under a democracy can this truly remain our home. <laughs>